Okay, so this is our honest thoughts on Last Action Hero. I make no apologies. You, you want to... <laughs> you know what? I had to take the heat for Mortal Kombat, and you left me out there to the wolves. Uh, you, should have, you should have heard what he said <laughs> afterwards about it. <laughs> what, the people that like it are pussy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, he's like, ah, like, we should have gotten real. He's like, ah, the fucking pussies. And I'm like, where were you when I was talking about this? And everyone's no, like, no, Rob hates Mortal Kombat. Okay, okay, no, if you like the movie, that's fine, but you're not a fan of Mortal Kombat, then. This is not what Mortal Kombat is. It is the exact opposite. Uh, Please send all hate mail <laughs> to him, care of Channel Hawks. I think everybody knows, like, you know, when you're behind the scenes or whatever, people like, you know, bad talk a little bit more than usual. So just when you were saying, like, you know, you were uh, unleashing yesterday. I'm I, no, that, no, that's all I said. No, just you're showing, like, you know, yeah, I got, like, a lot of flack for, like, not liking Mortal Kombat. You got all scot free. I was just like, uh, fucking pussies who like Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard a turn going, whoa! <laughs> um, so I would never say that on camera. Oops. I'll, I'll let you take. You're, you're, you're not voices. You I death. just, I so don't get it. I do not understand it at all. Um, but, I want my gore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. Okay, but that's not what we're talking about. We are talking um, about last yeah, action. So anyway, as I was saying, I'll let you take the lead no, of this No, no, I love this because you have just... Totally sabotage. You like me. how that works? Like that? <laughs> totally. Like now everyone's gonna be like, oh, I kind of like Rob again. Dunks the dick. I, he hates Last Action Hero and Mortal Kombat. He <laughs> called us all pussies. <laughs> well, Fred, let, let me make that clear. I don't hate Last Action Hero, uh, but I don't think it's very good. And the funny thing is, when this movie came out, everyone kind of had the same thought that we had. Like, okay, this isn't the worst, but it's. It's not a good movie, and it bombed, and all the critics didn't like it. Everyone that went to see it. Uh, kind of like Mortal Kombat at the time, everybody's like, dude, I thought I was gonna get, like, I knew it was gonna be a comedy, but I thought it was gonna be, like, kind of like The Expendables or something like that, you know, before that came out. And, uh, it was just this very confused film that had good ideas, and I'll argue a good heart. I mean, like, they're trying to make it somewhat family-friendly, even though it's PG-13, but, uh, it's just all over the map, and there is a right and wrong way to do satire, and that's the biggest argument I always hear. Well, it's a satire! I Fucking Who cares? No, it's a, that's like saying, well, you know what? A uh, disaster movie. I didn't like it. It's, it's a, a satire. satire. Yes. There's a good and bad way to do satire, and this isn't the worst way. It, it's to boldly oh, flee sucks. It's a satire. Oh wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cash ourselves up there. Um, I'm not gonna defend our own shit. Like, <laughs> it, 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 you know. No, if you don't like it, it's not like how can you not like suburban nights or kick ass? It's like. I get it. I'm not no. gonna brace the us. Only, the only, the only part I have qualms with, like, well, you just ripped off these. It's like, no, we're trying to be satirical. If you think the satire sucks, that's fine. Yeah, no, that's totally fine. But if you're like, you know, you're just ripping off. No, we're satirizing. Yes. Now, whether it works or not. It's called Tabole Flake. Yeah. Now, whether it works or not, that's up to that's you. That's up to you. Yeah, and that's fine. We're we getting so off track good, again. We don't think it's a good satire, uh, last action hero. No, yeah. Not so much. Not so uh, much. You know, and I think the reason is that. The movie that the kid goes in, it, it, it's a fun idea. It's going into, a kid going into a Schwarzenegger movie, this is like every kid's dream come true. This is awesome. I mean, I would love to see when this. When we saw the trailers, and if you read the plot, I'm this like, sounds great. This should be awesome. Yeah, yeah. but but here's the thing. They, he, they go into a kid version of a Schwarzenegger film, which was not popular yet. Uh, I'd even kind of argue, like, you didn't see it. Like, what, Jingle All the Way? When he actually did, like, a kid's film... They suck, and they're not very good. So the idea you of going into see Schwarzenegger, uh, the closest we've ever gotten to Schwarzenegger in a kids film that works is Kindergarten Cop, and the kids stuff is kind of beside the point. Yeah, like it's more fun because it really is angry Arnold Schwarzenegger dealing with a bunch of toddlers. Like I would argue that is a better satire than Last Action Hero because that is action Schwarzenegger that we were used to seeing with kids that you wouldn't normally yeah. see him in. And that was fun. Could have that used was great. more horrific violence, but you know we got enough, man. Okay. <laughs> no, but it, it got pretty intense at some point. Yeah, no, the ending, the ending was pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah no, even the opening is like he's got chase, a shotgun. Yeah. And he's like shooting yeah. up you people. Know what? That's I mean, right. That is, yeah, you're th totally that right. was a better last action hero than last action hero. Um, and so you got this one where the kid goes in, and sometimes they satirize. Like the kid will say, you know, say this word, grow up. No, you can't because it's a PG thirteen movie. That stuff's really clever. Uh, and when the kid is pointing out the faults in the movie, where are the normal looking women? Every woman is fucking hot, but then the comebacks are pretty good, you know, just, it's LA. It's like, that's, 
those are good lines and those are good ideas. But then you have, when he goes into the film, uh, if I was watching this film and the kid wasn't in it, just a Schwarzenegger film, this would be a stupid, bad Schwarzenegger film. You know, like, he calls out the dogs and he's like, you know, I can have them do anything. He snaps and they're stacked on top of each other. That wouldn't happen in an action film. There yeah. would, you know, if there was a cartoon cat in it and he had to team up with a cartoon cat, that's fine. But it would not be in the background and, oh, they're all teaming up with goofy people and stuff. That's not what happens in action film. The one duo, the one team, would be the focus. Well, this is the problem. Like, I got into arguments with people online about it because they're like, what's well, a satire? Therefore, it gets a free pass on everything. I'm like, no, it doesn't work that way because each satire, even within a satire, has its own <laughs> set of rules. I'm like, okay, if you're spoofing a Schwarzenegger movie and he goes into, into a Schwarzenegger movie, then it should be the rules of a Schwarzenegger movie. I have yet to see a Schwarzenegger movie where he teamed up with a cartoon cat, but even if that's the case, there's weird other action movies going on in the background. And I'm like, I don't get what they're doing here. Is no, they're trying to combine... Movie? Yeah, they're trying to combine these other cliches, but again, that wouldn't happen in a Schwarzenegger movie. It wouldn't movie. be. So and the biggest... I, I, there was one thing that really bothered me for some reason, and he's walking around. They've, they've set up that... In this world, it's Sylvester... St I don't know, there's Stallone two in the Terminator. So, yeah, yeah, in the Terminator. Which was clever, then, that's really funny. Yeah, and then there's a weird scene though where he's walking and there's Robert Patrick. Yeah, it's the T-1000. The T-1000 like, cop, and I'm like, what? And the kid's like, did you see the dude? And I'm like, what is he doing there? This doesn't make any sense. Well, he was in a like, Schwarzenegger they... film, so now he's in another Schwarzenegger film. As the character clearly, he's dressed as the cop and he has the mean look and stuff, so the T-1000 walked out. Wait a minute, how's this work? You know, it's... It, that's what I'm shocked about, yeah. too. People that are so die-hard about continuity... Yeah, nerds nowadays, who are the continuity kids. Yeah, are like, they, they give that movie a free pass. What? Yeah. What the fuck? Um, but yeah, that, that one little scene really bothered me, because I'm like, okay, I guess this is just anything goes. We're not even bothering to know what we're satirizing. We're just throwing everything on the screen and seeing what sticks. Like, you yeah, know... Even the kid... Even the... I saw this when I was a kid. I saw it kind of the perfect age, honestly. I think I was about 13. And when I saw... You would have been 12. Yeah, but probably about 12, 13. So I would and have been 14. when I saw Robert Patrick uh, walk by, I was like, you know, ha ha ha. And then immediately after, I'm like, why was that funny? Why is that supposed to be funny? And it just immediately confused me. I thought maybe when I got older, I would get it more. But no, it makes even less sense. Now, and honestly, the, the, the biggest sin in the movie for me, it's like, I could forgive... Uh, like, jumps in logic or whatever. It's okay, it's kind of a doesn't really know it. It's satirizing. The, the biggest thing for me is just, it's boring. Yeah, it's, it's a, a boring movie. Boring movie. Like, I, when we watched it, I nearly fell asleep. And I think, you know, there's some scenes that, like... Not I as could... boring as Junior, where I actually did yeah. fall asleep. I've missed 15 minutes of that film, because I, I actually fell asleep. But... How, how'd you say that again? Junior. Okay, I think it's Junior or something like junior. that. Junior. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought he said. Um, junior. But, no, and I think... Okay, there's a scene where the kid is talking to, like, I, I think they have him, and I think they have, like, Schwarzenegger's daughter or something who, who's pretty much grown up, and, like, you know, the kid of Schwarzenegger says, like, you know, if you harm one hair on her head, and he goes, takes a hair off, and rips it in half. Now, I could actually almost see that in an action movie. Like, it's kind of corny, but I could see a flying... I could honestly no. see, see that in Commando. <laughs> no, 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 but it's the fact, the music is goofy, they play a cartoon sound of boing, boing, and, st and they make it a cartoon. And that's not what kids want to see when they're seeing a Schwarzenegger film. That's not what anyone wants to see when they're seeing a Schwarzenegger film. Uh, so if you saw this as, like, a really, really little kid, I guess I kind of get it, but, you know, it, it's kind of like the Space Jam argument. It's like, I saw it when I was a little kid. It's like, fair enough, but, but you're like, Space no, this, okay. this is good satire. Space this is... And it, Space Jam, though is aimed at little kids, like, like, I could see little kids, like, digging in. You got cartoons, it's basketball, it's Michael Jordan. It's not aiming for anything really high here. Yeah. Like, it just is what it is, but this film, I, I don't know, like, how many little kids watch Last Action Hero and don't just want to fast forward through some of it? Like, I just... It's well, and that's always one why I think slow. my guess is that it's kind of like Hercules. I think it's just gotten like this kind of cult following of people that are just like, you know, hey, this movie got trash, but I really liked it when I was younger. You know, fair enough. Like it, you know, if, if you like it. But, you know, don't don't try to put it up there with like Airplane or Spaceballs or any oh, of that God, stuff. No, 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 just, no, no, no. It's nowhere near close. No, it's not even. I mean, it's better than Seltzer stuff. 
like light years ahead oh, yeah. of that, but like it can't even touch like space balls or some of the early Zucker work. Like it, it's somewhere just dead right in the middle. It's it, like right in the middle, but between Seltzer and between the higher ups, it's like right in the middle. I'll, t I'll tell you the big difference between uh, uh, something like this and something like space balls uh, is that there was much more discipline to Spaceballs. There's much more discipline in its jokes because here's the thing that I think people forget and they really lose in like, you know, the, the date movie and disaster movie and stuff like that, uh, is that there's a million jokes you can throw into any scene and you have to be discriminatory and you have to find the ones that work best and contribute the most to the scene and to the joke you're trying to get across. And in this movie, you know, again, in the movie, the kid goes into a movie. You know, and it's a Schwarzenegger movie, so you have to play it like they're really in a Schwarzenegger movie. And again, a great example is Stallone doing The Expendables, which did get goofier as they got along. But in the first film, it's like, it's a satire, but it is a Stallone movie. This is the movie you would see in the 80s if all these people got together. You want a good set, like, everybody's like, oh, it's a satire, it's a great satire. It's not. If you want a good satire, watch Hot Fuzz. Yeah, that, like, that's Hot a great Fuzz is amazing, too. and it's a great action movie, and it's yeah. got gore, and it's got violence, and it's hilarious, and it it knows what it's doing. Yeah, and it plays with the convention so much more. Like you know, all these people will be shot up. You know, when when he goes at the end, it's the big climax and stuff like that. How many people die in that? Nobody. Nobody dies, and that's amazing. That is a pure. We're giving you the violence and the gore and everything, but we're also saying fuck you. Nobody's dying at all. It's a great play on those conventions. Uh, and I didn't see anything like that in this. I saw good ideas that were not figured out yet. I saw people like they're putting the script together and they're throwing out ideas, and rather than saying okay, let's pick the best ones, let's have this make sense, they're like no, just go, just go. It's a new bowl script. I, I think the other thing is like. I never felt, particularly with that kid, outside of a strange early scene where he's burglarized and like cuffed, yeah, I forgot cuffed, about cuffed that. to the radiator where I'm like, okay, so uh, like, why are we folding arms at the same time? It's weird. <laughs> um, so I'm like, okay, maybe they're implying like, no. This is real. See, yeah, this is different. Like, this In is reality, real. it's not fun. It's scary. And I'm like, okay. And the, the kid acts it out well. He seems legitimately scared. And like it, it feeds into this whole thing that he's feels very depowered. Like he's completely dominated by this other guy. It's not like an action movie where he can just kick ass or three ninjas or uh. something or surf ninjas. Like, you know, he just gets completely owned and is scared to death. Fine. But... After that point, like after going into the movie and then even in the climax, I never felt any danger for this kid. Mm. Like not once, and that is a difference between other earlier films, particularly like in the 80s, where they would throw kids in danger and like you felt, like I think of something like Cloak and Dagger, mm. where it's about the kid who finds like the, the Atari game or whatever with the uh, spy material on it, and the villains that chase that kid and like I... I was a kid, I was terrified. Mm. Like, and you felt that it was kind of real. And I'm not saying you have to go all out, but I if I don't buy that the kid's in any real danger, like in the latter half of that film, it, it, it's a problem. Yeah, here, okay, and here you were talking about that in Cloak and Dagger. I think of Aliens, I think of all these other films, I think oh, of... Oh, Newt, uh, yeah, and Aliens. Yeah, Aliens, I think but of... that's um, a hardcore horror film. You know, and, and, even Commando, as goofy as it is, I mean, that kid looks legitimately fucking terrified, you know, in yeah. that movie. And if they really want to make this like, hey, we're going to a Schwarzenegger film, how about, you know, the kid, switch it up. The real world's fine. For most kids, it is. You know, it's, you know, you got your movies. Oh, I wish I was in an action film. Go in an action film. The action film is really intense. And have it be, be have it be a satire of violence in the media. But yeah, that would be like, And the kid's like, oh my god, this shit, if it happens in real life, fine. Really I've got scary. a knife to my throat. Yeah, this like, would be, like, really yeah. fucking scary. And that's like, an interesting idea. Make it a good satire of violence. You know, do something with it. Do something smart with it. Instead of, like, hey, notice these conventions. Don't these happen a lot? And, and that's kind of it. Um, you know, and they don't all have to be like that. Like I said, we like Airplane, we like Spaceballs, you know. They're, they're pretty mindless, but... There they knew, is. They knew what they were. Yeah, they knew what they about. were, and they, they knew how to go about it. Idea, and they went for broke. See, that's the thing. Airplane is so in Hot Shots and those Zucker Brothers films, and even the early Mel Brooks stuff are so chock full of jokes that it doesn't feel slow. Hmm. Like their goal was whatever gets a laugh stays in, whatever doesn't get a laugh you pull it. 
In this one, like, just looking for laughs in Last Action Hero, it's a slog. You just kind of sit there for minutes on end and, oh, it's funny, there goes Robert Patrick, and oh, there's a cartoon cat, and but... It's not much, so it, 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 there's not a ton of really good action in it. Mm. Like, I can't think of an action scene where I'm like, that was amazing. I remember something with a truck crashing through a mansion, and it's like, it's certainly nothing that stuck with me. It's slow, the jokes aren't that funny, it doesn't really know what it's satirizing, so I'm like, what? what's the point? Well, and here's the thing, too, and I... I never got this as a kid. I don't get it now. The ba if I'm remembering this right, I, I, maybe I'm not, but the bad guy from the film goes into the real world, he shoots someone, and he says, you know, oh, I just shot someone, I just go, ah, go away, you bum, and stuff like that. And he realizes he can get away with much more in the real world than he can in a movie. What the fuck are you talking oh, about? Yeah, see, that's another thing. It doesn't know what it's satirizing in the real world. I have world. no idea what I was trying to okay, do. What I get world it. could you shoot it's, someone it's in? It's a bad neighborhood. I get it. But that only in a movie, and it's pre, it's like pre 9-11, like, I get that, but still, like, I was alive in 1993, you couldn't do that. Yeah, I just watched that, and I just, I'm like, and again, I sort of laughed, but then as a kid, I'm like, what the hell are they even really saying? But it's like, satire of things! You know, I, I, it's such a weird turnaround, and I think that is it. I think it's like, I understand making the real world much more gritty and, and, and mean-spirited, but people kind of forget that action films back in the 80s and 90s were gritty and were mean-spirited. Mean mean spirited. Spirited, yeah. So, I think the idea of going in, I really think... Maybe it was predicting the kindergarten cop sort of universe and the PG-13-ization of everything. <laughs> maybe, I don't know, but... Maybe it was ahead of its time. Maybe, maybe that's was. problem. <laughs> and maybe now we're just like, yeah, this is pretty maybe much... Maybe now it's like, like, wow, this was made today, this would be... I mean, it's like Demolition Man, like it actually is much better now. Um, but no, back then, it really didn't make sense. Uh, I would still argue, even if you make that argument, the Demolition Man argument, that's like, no, no, nowadays it makes a lot more sense. Uh, I still think the satire itself just, it still isn't focused on what most Schwarzenegger movies are. Uh, you know, because that is, it's Schwarzenegger, and the kid constantly points out all the Schwarzenegger tropes, and that's what you're satirizing, even if you're doing cop movies and stuff like if that. If you had gone with a lesser action hero, it may have worked better. Like your your action, your Jean Claude Van Damme, yeah, your ones that that, that are, Seagal. yeah, that it's not quite the uber violence. It's just more sort of martial arts kind of like, even their films are pretty dark. Like, but that, I don't know. Yeah, but even I even then, in those films, when have you seen the commissioner yell an actual steam come out of his ears? Yeah, see, I that's mean, another thing. Yeah, I don't get it. Like, what are they spoofing here? I don't know. I mean, it's again. I think it's. Somewhere in there, I get the feeling it probably started off with an act, like the first draft of the script, if I had to guess, was like, sort of what we were talking about, where it's the Schwarzenegger tropes and the kid interacting with them and just movie tropes in and general. The studio and got then, involved. And, no, and then somebody like, was like, it. yeah, let's, we have the kid in there, kids, it's a kid in a Schwarzenegger film, let's make it so that kids can see it, but still kind of make a Schwarzenegger film, so make it like a mix between a Schwarzenegger film and oh, a cartoon. And what kills me, what kills me is 1993, this is the same summer... We watched two kids nearly get eviscerated multiple <laughs> times by dinosaurs. dinosaurs. <laughs> that fucking T-Rex scene, like... Oh, fucking terrifying! Grown-ass 14-year-old in the cinema ready to just shit a brick when that T-Rex, like, burst through uh, the glass ceiling on the, the Ford Bronco or whatever, and it's like... And the, the raptor scenes and all of these things, and the kid gets electrocuted on the fence, I'm like... Think about that for yeah. a second. The, you know, Steven Spielberg, the kid <laughs> friendly guy, gave us something that was insane. Oh, Spiel Spielberg, I mean, to, looking back now, you know, I think because we always sort of give Spielberg, you know, uh, you know, we well, give him a lot of stuff sap, because he's but done he'll so still much throw kids and and stuff. But yeah, he will. Yeah. I, I think of like Temple of Doom, and I think of uh, Jurassic Park and stuff. It's like, yeah, he will. He will torture those maybe, fucking kids. Maybe, maybe they should have handed it to Spielberg. Um, though that wouldn't have been what I said at the time. I mean, the director was John McTiernan, and I, yeah, I have nothing to do with John brilliant. McTiernan's a great director. Um, they're not all good. No. But, uh, you I know, the one... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the ones that are good are really good. Die Hard. I still think Die Hard 3 is the best of the sequels. Yeah. Um, <laughs> of the sequels. Hunt for, yeah, Hunt for Red October. Like, yeah, that's a wonderful. classic. Uh, it, you know, so... It, I can't, I'm not even sure I can blame John McTiernan as if he did a bad job. I think the script just sucked. Yeah, that's how you feel. You're, like... you're a great action director, John McTiernan, coming off of Die Hard and things like that, and you're like, no, blow steam out of this guy's ears. Like, he must have just been sitting there going, all right. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think, is there any other movie he's done where he's done this kind of humor? And I don't think there is. Even his really bad films, you know, are like, he's never done, yeah, Steam is coming out, there's a cartoon cat, I mean, he's never done this kind of humor. So, if you're probably, yeah, you're probably right that it is most likely, like, studio interference would be my guess. Um, and or again, just but, not a good screenplay, like, yeah. I have no idea. But again, with, uh... Uh, it is kind of the same argument with Mortal Kombat and stuff when people are like, you know, oh, but it's a kid, it's a Schwarzenegger movie. It, it, no, you do not know Schwarzenegger movies then. You do not know the traditional Quick, good, call them gritty... fucking pussies. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it's really true. It, it, it's that, you know, it, if you like it because you want to see Schwarzenegger in a cartoon, fair enough. And you, if you want to see something better than Batman and Robin, fair enough. But, but that is what it is. It's not a kid in a Schwarzenegger movie. It's not a satire of Schwarzenegger movies. It, it's this very confusing confused mess that is not god-awful as much as we're like, you know, rah, 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 about well, it. I, it do think it's not I, I think awful. we need to make something clear because the totem pole, like, there's like a totem pole we have of things we've had to watch for the NC, which is the bar is set so low. Yeah. <laughs> so, so low. Uh, that, you know, when we say, oh, this isn't a great movie, I think people get, I think people get confused and they're like, oh my god, how can you hate, hate that film? I don't hate, hate Last Action Hero. Of all the films we've reviewed, it's got to be in the top 20. I mean, we've done things like Jurassic Park. We've done things like Hook. Oh, of ones that are not that bad. Either. Yeah, of ones that are, like, not that bad. Or, like, I argue overall for the problems it has, Jurassic Park's a pretty good film. Hook, I think, overall is a pretty good film. Like, so it's in the top 20 of, like, okay, this is an A, like, this at least is, like, an A-list Competently enough done film that it's like this isn't embarrassingly bad, but mm -hmm. um, so it's it's not the it's nowhere near the worst thing we've ever reviewed. It's one of the best things we've reviewed. Like out of what are we on now? Episode three. Oh, like what, what number? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't count. I'm sure somebody will like have the number. If I looked at all the films we reviewed, like I would probably throw it in the top twenty. I would probably be down near twenty. But, yeah, <laughs> like. Um, but no, I think it's, I think the reason we do get so passionate about it is because I think people, you know, it, 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 humor is subjective. I mean, it really, any of this is subjective, but I think this idea that, you know, well, no, 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 you have to defend it. This should be up there with like the great satires. It's, I mean, it, I think there has to be this idea of really look at what the great satires are doing and what, and what they're not doing, what they had to say no to, what they said, okay, this is a funny idea, but it doesn't belong here. Uh, and you compare the two and you see, I think you can see just how much more the people in the other great satires, like, like Young Frankenstein and so forth, are really trying much harder and they're much smarter and they should be appreciated even more for it. I think that's sort of where I say, no, we really should look at these people that are doing so much more than Last Action Hero is doing. And if you like it, fine, but there is so much more going on in these other classic, really well-done satires that still hold up today. Yeah, like the Seltzer stuff is an F. The Zuckers, the early Zucker stuff and the early Mel Brooks stuff, that's an A. This would be a C. Yeah. Um, you know, some jokes work. Some jokes I legitimately laughed at. And I thought we're clever. Yeah. Um, but but some, <laughs> you know, which is better than Seltzer, where I get zero. But you know, it, it's still some. And I'll even argue that some of the ideas that they're going for are not bad ideas. But do they come through? Do they work? I don't think they do. Its heart was in the right place. It just it's the execution. Yeah. Uh, which is another thing I need. I need more executions. Uh, <laughs> I guess Schwarzenegger. We're <laughs> We're really violent, awful people. Yeah, we are. <laughs> but that was the 90s. That was the early 90s. It was, that was violent, the, that awful. That was the 80s and the early 90s. Before things got really, really PC, which some good things have come out of, Before but other the stuff is like... Times. <laughs> Before the happy, peppy, lighter times. Before the PG-13 ruled the world. Um, so, but no, and definitely some good things have come out being much more politically correct. I'm not super anti-PC, but it is like, oh man, some of the stuff was so good. <laughs> You know, just I'm, just, I'm not for I'm it. not for sanitizing violence. I'm just I think sanitizing violence is way worse. No, because then it just it gives you this like oh well it's okay you just shoot a guy haha he goes down this and that and I'm like no <laughs> <laughs> like that ain't right like if you're gonna shoot somebody then really freaking shoot somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's a sort of D take. Take out that of one out of context. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Uh, if we were running for politicians, we'd be dead. Rob Walker face. If you're gonna shoot somebody, you should really shoot somebody. If you're gonna shoot somebody, really shoot somebody. Rob Walker, he's not the right choice for people who don't want to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, this is for the people that argue in Expendables there's like CG blood and stuff like that. I mean, and I get that argument. Th this is where we're coming from. We're coming from Robocop. We're coming from Total Recall. We're coming from the Terminator films. We're, we're coming... grumpy old men. <laughs> no, but that's. But but if you're trying to understand, like, how can someone not like this satire? This is where we're coming from. Uh, and that's what we were, that's what most kids were expecting when they saw this movie, and that's what most kids were expecting when they saw Mortal Kombat as well. Uh, yeah, I guess it was sort of the beginning of the PG-13, wasn't it? Because everything started to turn PG-13. When I think else. of the 90s, I think two things. Extreme and PG-13. Yeah. And well, two things that, strangely enough, don't go together are Extreme <laughs> and PG-13. Uh, so yeah, honestly, I, I would not say I angrily, barely hate this film. I mean, as much as we no, yell about I, it. I'm um, really, I'm in, I'm... <laughs> Last Action Hero, when it came out... And I saw it. I was completely indifferent to it. When I saw it again, I was still completely indifferent to yeah. it. I am completely indifferent to it. To I, me, I it's, a, it's a C film. If you like it, whatever. Take it. I can't even invest enough time to really hate it. I think it. even in the review, I say it doesn't work, but it's not the worst. It's not awful. And just for whatever reason, people take out yeah. the not and just hear the awful. Yeah. Try getting through Cat in the Hat. Like, yeah. Now that <laughs> film I actively hate. Yeah, that, that is like... Oh, the last man, Action Hero is a masterpiece. Yeah, compared to the Cat in the Hat. <laughs> There you go, there's a film called a masterpiece coming out of the cat in the hat. Um, so yeah, so no, I, I think we, we're we more reacting to how people like are so strongly, you know, you can't think that. Of course you can, knock it off. You know, you can think whatever you want and like as much as I say, ah, you pussies and stuff like that. It's a joke, it's having fun, it's humor. If you really, really like it, like it, it doesn't matter. But we're trying to show where we're coming from and you as well can show where we're I'm gonna change your mind. I'm gonna say I like Mortal Kombat and Last Action here. So you can send all the You're just trying to uh, one on me. You're trying to get all hate mail to me, so I see how it works. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it. We will see you at the next one. Later.